Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a while since I've done reinforcement learning, but we're going to do breakout tutorial. It's going to look just like this when you're done. This is a very short amount of code, so you guys don't need to worry. We're going to be using stable baselines. First, you're going to pip install this right here just exactly as it is. Now before I warn you guys, um, I couldn't uh, do the whole uh, episodes because it's not on the same scalar index. See some of my other videos on my playlist for reinforcement learning for the whole episodes, you know, visualized like a game. Even one of them, Frozen Lake, where I teach you guys how to turn it into a movie. Okay, so you're going to import these from Stable Baselines. See my other Stable Baselines video for Cooperative Pong. This one is our environment breakout, just like environment for Jim. This is uh, using this parameter, make your own environment. We're going to do breakout. Pass that right there for Vec Frame Stack. And then we're going to be using a CNN policy. Now guys, as you know, uh, CNNs are uh, convolutional neural networks. They're used in time series, now reinforcement learning, but usually for image classification. Just so you guys know. Using convolutions. Okay, and then we're going to pass that parameter for its time steps. And then guys, see how it's training. He's actually training pretty good. And uh, this is how to save the model. And then this right here is how you can download the model as well. That's for pushing it. Okay, now this is for loading the model again. And this is for uh, loading it into its environment. Model set. Train model. And if you want to save it again, that's how you guys know how. Now let's get to uh, visualization. The reason why I couldn't do all the episodes is because it's not on the same scalar index. But you guys can catch them in different clips like this. You guys see? See where he's at right now before we dive into the code. Now, let's run it again. You see, he moved. This is the Atari game breakout. Okay, environment reset. See my um, one for teaching a taxi how to drop off and pick up. That one is very in-depth. Okay, import matplotlib for data visualization as PLT, IPython display, render, RGB array, PLT, I am show the screen, and this range, because here, let me show you guys. You guys are thinking, there was no episodes parameter passed, right? I tried different ways, and I couldn't. Because... If I tried passing the episodes, it's not on the same scalar index as the environment action sample. I'll get into that later. Now let's try, because this is not on the same scalar index you guys see. Invalids. And let me guys show you, just so you guys don't try. Do you guys see? Now let's try a different number. It's got to be in the negatives. Okay, guys. PLT I am showed the previous screen in this range environment action sample, state penalty, action, render, PLT I am show. If not break, then done. Environment close. Now let's get into this right here. 
This is the total number of epochs and penalties. And then we're going to range episodes equals a thousand for this in the range of episodes because we used environment reset. You guys see the difference? It doesn't match the environment action sample. It doesn't match the same scalar index. Okay. But at least you guys got something out of this. Okay. We're in the range of episodes. State equals environment reset. Epochs, penalties, rewards. Penalties is one. We could change that to negative one. And just so this doesn't take too long. Okay, you guys saw how good it did. Didn't do as good. Apparently, this guy likes to be rewarded. Let's see how he does with uh, zero and a hundred episodes. He did pretty good at a thousand episodes with penalty as one. Now guys, this is the thing with a lot of Markov models. You guys learn most of the time, most of the time, not all the time, he's got to be penalized more than he's rewarded. In some cases, rewarding actually does, is more beneficial. The agent usually gets lazy if you reward him too much. But in this case, that's not the case. Anyways, guys, see my other videos for MLOps, basic machine learning, including uh, everything. See my other ones for basic convolutional neural networks. See my advanced AI web apps. See everything. Check out all the playlists, all my SageMaker MLOps pipelines, my Azure cloud deployments, anything you can think of. And the SageMaker playlist is not just pipelines, it's also just models itself. Um, check out my whole channel. If you guys are here for something, there's something else you guys need. So please, check. Check it out and feel free to share. I've got pretty much everything. I've got over 159 videos. So if you guys are here for something, there's probably something else you guys need. So feel free to share. Also, guys, be sure to hit like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, check out my other videos and feel free to share. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned from this tutorial. Check out those videos. Thank you. Bye.